How's it going everyone? It's me Tangosis back at the yeah, for Fenora Review. Today we're reviewing Mokoko. I hope it's out that right. So Mokoko was kindly provided by the developers for review, so just want to say big thanks to the developers for providing a review copy. I'm enjoying the game so far, so here's my review on it. As always, we're just gonna do the positives, the negatives, the neutral areas, and my final thoughts, starting with the positives. So as you can probably hear in the background, the first positive here is the soundtrack. I quite enjoyed the soundtrack myself now. I thought it was pretty relaxing at the menu theme, and it just worked for all the different stages in the game, so... Good soundtrack for me anyway, so thumbs up for that. The next uh, positive here, as you can see, all the wee question box mo boxes all around. The boxes with question marks on them, I mean. Uh, they, I, I think they had like a nice risk versus reward sort of thing, like the extra lives and the bonus points. So you can sort of decide whether you want to YOLO it and try to get all the boxes, or just play it safe and get the bits, sort of like bit by bit, trying to complete your stage. So, I thought I'll add a nice risk and reward thing to it. The next positive here is the voice acting. I thought the voice acting was a good enough job for this here sort of game. You ever watch those old 80s anime with the different, well, I wouldn't say cheesy, but it's sort of more along those lines for voice acting. It's sort of like Gat, which... If you ask me, it actually sort of works for the stage villains and stuff, as well as the different characters, the voice acting. Good job, I think they did for this. Now for the negatives. Now the only main negative is just... Now I don't know if this is due with my keyboard, I was playing this with keyboard and mouse you see. But it just seems with keyboard, there seems to be a few input delays as well as some dropped inputs in areas. Mind you, this is only on the actual first couple of levels, but after that it seemed to have smoothed out. I don't know if it's a bug with the first level, but it seems to have evened out over time, but just keep that in mind that you might have a few wee input delays or dropped inputs the odd time, but aside from that, well, everything else was alright. Now for the neutral areas. The enemy seem just a wee bit too big and move a wee bit too quick compared to how you capture areas. This was on the medium difficulty I was playing in, as you can see in the gameplay footage. So, I don't know if that's intentional, but you could probably stick to easy, then move your way up over time if you really want to, but you could probably stick with maybe easy or medium, and if you really want to, just hard if you want to just YOLO and get all the high scores. The different difficulties, you see, have different score multipliers and stuff. Easier difficulties means you have more life, and the enemies move slower, but you have like less of a score multiplier, well, then you could probably guess that medium and hard gets like higher score multipliers, but less lives, so... You can sort of decide it for yourself, or I think the achievements are all the same for difficulty, so it doesn't matter what difficulty you play it on if you want to get the achievements, but it's really just higher difficulty for the higher score and bragging rights, really, so there you go. The final neutral area is that if you really want to, you can get a nude patch. Yeah, so make sure you're, you know, over 18 if you want to download that. I played it without it, but it's there if you want it, and it's just on the store page. My final thoughts on this is that it's an enjoyable enough Wii game that you can probably play with one hand, if you know what I mean. The game is only £2.89, so it's decent enough to pass the evening. Personally, myself, I'm enjoying it so far now. Just that sometimes you just want to relax in a Wii game to play in the background while you're doing, well, like downloading something else, or just want to pass the time. So I'm definitely enjoying it so far. I think the developers but did a good enough job for a nice Wii game, and for £2.89, I mean... It's cheap enough that you can just pick it up with some spare cash, really, but I'm enjoying it myself and grateful for the developers for sending me a review copy, so hopefully get all the achievements as a way of showing my thanks and support to the game, so if the developers are watching this, you guys did a good job of the game, and you guys should give yourselves a good cup of tea and a nice pat on the back, I would say. And that's essentially about it for my review on Makoko, so... Just want to say thanks everyone for watching, and I'll catch you next time.